Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 2 of the Adobe Photoshop tutorial series. So today we're going to discuss about colors inside of Photoshop. So here by default our Photoshop color mode is RGB. So once you go to new a file and new you see that the color mode chose right here is RGB which is basically for screen based design because our screen monitor right here is based on red green and blue color combination. But if you are targeting print, then you might want to consider choosing CMYK, which is the cyan, uh, magenta yellow, and key color. That's the black color uh, combination or grayscale for black and white. The lab colors and bitmaps are not used much. All right. So uh, usually, if I want more features inside of Photoshop, then uh, it is recommended that you, you that you choose RGB color. So let me just see um, an example. Let's say. I create a shape right here. Let me just create a shape and then fill this color into uh, a bright sort of red. Right now, the color range that I have is RGB. So in the image, if I want to change the color mode right here, um, right, right here, uh, then let me just also create another one for green. Okay, there you go. Okay, I should have selected uh, red and green. So here I have two shapes. One is red and green. So this is an RGB color mode right now. So if I were to go to, uh, if I want to change the um, color mode right off the can, uh, right out of the canvas without having to go to file, I just go to image and go to uh, mode over here, and I can change the color scale right here. So I can go to CMYK and change that out. And you can see that my color faded out a bit because the printer does not support uh, a, 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 like a brighter range of color. So you can see that my color faded a bit when I changed it to RZ, um, CMYK color. So if I were to go to grayscale, it just converts the information into black and white because grayscale it's, um, refers to the shades of gray. So you can have other color modes as well, that, but they are not used too much. Over here, there are bits again. So bits are the level of color details that you have in an image. So if you have multiple shades of gray again, so if I have something like a gradient, which I'm going to create right here, let's say I'm going to uh, just go back to RGB for a while. So let me just go to RGB for a while and then just flatten it out. We are going to talk about layers in further lessons. So bear with me before I explain the shapes over here. So over here in this section, we have something called a gradient. And you can see that the gradient uh, actually changes right here. Let me just go to start with 32 uh, bit right here. So let me just go to mode and go to 32 uh, bit and flatten it out. So once I see over here in this section, let me just drag a shape again. Okay, so this does not seem to actually have an effect over here. It does not seem to have a gradient effect. Let's know that 32-bit images over here. The 32-bit images actually lets you um, have more number of colors. So it has more shades of colors. 16-bit has a bit less shade of colors, so half uh, the half the amount of that you have in a 32 bit but here if you were to have something like a gradient you can see that the gradient is kind of smooth so you may not see this on your screen depending on what uh, screen mode you are in so if I were to go into something like 8 bit from here then what happens is that the number of colors the number of shades actually changes and the smoothness is a bit lower but the a change that you see is not very high so 8-bit is quite good and if you want to use some filters or options right here then it is compulsory for you to be in 8-bit mode because once you change that to uh, a higher number of bits like 32 let me just do that let me just flatten it out and see so what actually happens is that some of the settings like most of the settings here actually will uh, turn gray and you cannot use it because it takes up a lot of processing power so and then finally we'll talk about the resolution so resolution is actually the number of dots in your monitor if I were to really zoom in out here you can see that my image is made out of 
dots. One of these dots is known as pixel. So let's say if I were to count the area of this pixel is 2 by 2, so it's 2 pixel by 2 pixel, or this area is 2 pixel by 3 pixel. So similarly, when I were to press new, you can see that if I were to calculate in pixel and do something like a 400 by 300 right here and press OK, you can see that now I have a number of pixels right here that, that's made out of 400 pixels by 300 pixels. So similarly, uh, I can define the number of pixels I want. And if I were to say resolution 72, it, it means that there's um, 72 pixels per inch. And usually for print, it is 300 pixels per inch it's because there's a lot more detail there. So when I say 300 pixels per inch and 8.5 inches, then it multiplies 8.5 by 300 and that is the number of pixels that I get. So if I were to press 2, you can see that when I change this into pixel, the value that you get is 600, which is 300 multiplied by um, 2 right there. So if I want to say 1, I'll, uh, le let me have add in the value of 2 here again and let me do 72 and now the value that you see would be 144 which is the multiple application of 72 by 2 because uh, this is how the pixels get affected and when you press OK similar type of canvas actually appears. So this is how you set pixels. You can change the color modes from RGB to CMYK to set, set, and also this is how you set bits and resolution to work on your canvas. So hope you guys learned something as always, and as always, please like,